Downtown Cincinnati bars are under a microscope tonight. City leaders and police officers want to end the crime happening in and around those downtown bars. And to do that, it's asking owners to step up before considering the fate of the establishment's liquor licenses. Now, Marielle Carbone is following this story closely. And Marielle, how many bars are we talking about here? Well, Craig, this conversation, it happened during a committee meeting this morning, and it really just focused around two separate locations. One in downtown that was the scene of a fatal shooting back in November. The other, this OTR complex that has had multiple issues reported here over the last year. A question of safety at downtown bars, but just how much should you worry? 98% of them, you're not going to have an issue. Unfortunately, we have a small minority of uh, locations that do attract crime. It's why the Cincinnati Police Department and the city is hoping to remedy some issues at several bars. If not, liquor license could be pulled. At this point, we want to work with the permit premise holder uh, to resolve all this. One chalet bar. A deadly incident spilling out of this bar and onto the streets of downtown in November. We believe chalet hopefully isolated. Newtigate says the owners are cooperating and considering raising the age to enter, plus adding better security at entrances, making sure no one is entering with a gun. Next, this OTR complex, which includes OTR Live, the Treehouse and Copa. It's where a laundry list of crimes have been reported over the last year. February 10th, 2019, Victim states he was drugged while drinking at OTR Live. The most recent patrons of the complex were involved in this fatal car crash over the weekend. The holder of that liquor license. My understanding is those facts are also true. The same person who was given the liquor license for Cameo, the location of a mass shooting in 2017. Cameo was real. It was the largest mass shooting that we had. CPD says it's currently drafting a letter to the owner asking him to come to the table and discuss ways to move forward. These are separate businesses that the owner has. Um, he has the right to have these liquor licenses in the state of Ohio, but we have the right to be safe. And I did reach out to the owners of these various establishments, leaving messages for comments about this, but at this point, I've not heard back. Reporting live from OTR, Marielle Carbone, 9 on your side.